How's it going guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can torrent safely using a VPN, because whether you're torrenting something that could be public domain, or you might be torrenting something that could be copyrighted, uh, make sure that you're using a VPN to protect yourself from hackers or your ISP. And of course, make sure to also check with your local laws to make sure that everything that you're doing is within the bounds of the law. Now, peer to peer torrenting can be risky from unwittingly downloading malware to accidentally downloading copyrighted material. You could risk infecting your computer with viruses. Um, you can have your connection throttled by your ISP or even face fines. The solution to both of that is obviously using a VPN. Now, let's say you do download something that is dangerous. Um, for example, I do like that with NordVPN, by the way, these are the top three VPNs for torrenting safely. They all have independently audited no logs policies and a, they are outside the 5, 9, and 14 eyes jurisdiction. Make sure to check the reviews below for more information. You'll also find links to pricing discounts in the description as well. So ExpressVPN will be the one to uh, focuses. It focuses more on uh, anonymity and privacy, which is why I like to use it. As you can tell here, while I'm downloading the torrent, for example, I have ExpressVPN on. Um, but I do combine ExpressVPN with an antivirus, um, and Total AV is typically what I use as an antivirus. So. If you maybe you don't have an antivirus and you're trying to just use a VPN, I like that NordVPN has a feature called threat protection and it will protect your device from infected files before they download to your uh, device and prevent any damage. So this is one way to protect your device all in one. And um, Surfshark, for example, has an antivirus feature that you can pay a little bit of extra for if you're interested. Unless you just want to go with, let's say, ExpressVPN, which is going to be more of a premium service, super easy to use, obviously, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country or you just want to go for the um, top privacy and anonymity VPN go with ExpressVPN, hands down the best for privacy and anonymity. NordVPN is going to be more of a well-rounded VPN that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features and focuses more on performance uh, and again, giving you a whole bunch of features. NordVPN is a great VPN. And finally, Surfshark will be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing uh, much on performance, privacy, security, or features for that matter. The important thing is you connect to a VPN to avoid uh, getting, of course, your IP address exposed. Because if you didn't know, anyone downloading the same torrent is going to be seeing your IP address. It will expose your IP address to everybody. Uh, so make sure that you are using a VPN to hide your IP address. Of course, you want to also protect yourself from these hackers that look at these IP addresses and uh, try to find any open ports through which they can infiltrate your home network and launch DDoS attacks against you. Um, of course, a VPN can also protect you from your ISP in case you might be mistakenly downloading something that could be considered copyrighted material so that you don't get any warnings or fines or get your connection throttled by your ISP. So just keep yourself protected and encrypt your traffic using a good VPN. That's exactly why I have these three VPNs suggested here. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, I'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.